Hi, Tim Spinoza here with the Real Deal Magic Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing WMD. Also, we're going to announce the winners of the Locking Deck and the Mystic Frog, so stick around. Now, WMD, Non Plus Productions, and it's created by Seth Race. Now, what is the effect? It is the Matrix effect. Uh, I love the Matrix effect. It's a great effect. This is done with a bill. And I've got to tell you, on the video, on the, two, on, on the trailer, it looked awesome. And guys, we wanted to like this trick. When I saw it, I was like, that looks cool. I want to perform this trick. I like the whole moving the pips. But here's my thoughts, unfortunately. It looks beautiful, but it's very inconsistent. We work with this trick on and on and on, trying to get it to work, hoping, hoping that we could get some consistency out of it. We never actually did. And I'm going to pull another magician friend of mine here that's on staff. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. But right now, we'll give you some other details on the trick. Uh, the instructions were, were good on making the trick, but the video quality was a little bit low. You got one view, and that was okay. And each aspect of making the gimmicks was actually pretty difficult. And you're going to spend $2 on making the first gimmick. You have two gimmick options. You're going to spend $2 on making this one, and you're going to spend three dollars on making this one now the price point of the trick is thirty five dollars so you've got to add another three bucks here another two bucks here so you're looking at forty bucks total i think the trick is overpriced i really do let's look at what you get in the box wmd inside the box you get a glue stick and your gimmicks i'm not going to show those out of respect for the trick. And you also get another little packet with a few other things that you have to add to a bill. That's what you get in the box. I feel like the trick is a little overpriced. I love the thought process behind this. The guy, Seth, definitely creative, props up, man. Very cool for your thoughts and, and you know, it, the thinking behind this is, is very, very cool. But in the real world, the real deal, this is not going to be consistent. It's going to be difficult to carry. It's going to be problematic in your pocket. If you can find a way to carry this, it's going to be in its own little packet. Otherwise, you'll be picking up lint and dirt from your pockets and various different things that are going to mess with the trick's consistency. This boils down to this trick being inconsistent. That's my biggest issue with it. The level, the, this is an advanced level performance trick. It's going to be very difficult to pull this trick off. So definitely a lot of rehearsal in the mirror advanced for sure beginners i would not recommend this trick for a beginner and my overall rating for this trick guys the real deal tim spinoza review rating is going to be a five out of ten and that is once again because it lacks consistency it's just not that practical who's going to want to perform this trick probably hardcore matrix guys it's a great effect. I love the matrix effect. I've always loved it with the coins and various different things. And the fact that the pip moves on the dollar bill on this, like I said, we wanted this to work. We wanted this to be something that I could perform. The real deal final cut is, guys, this trick is not going to make my repertoire. You may fall in love with this. I've tried to give you everything all the tools for you to know whether you should purchase this item. Right now, 
we're going to do our giveaway. I promised you guys we were giving away the lock and deck in the Mystic Frog, and I wanted to call Daniel in. Daniel, come on over here. Daniel's one of the uh, on-staff magicians, and before we do the giveaway, Daniel, uh, Daniel actually put together these two gimmicks. And Daniel, would you say uh, it was pretty difficult? About how long did it take you? I think we said um, what? From three hours. Like three, three to four half, hours. Yeah. So to make both gimmicks, it was quite lengthy, and it was it was pretty difficult, if you yeah, had to say. very tedious, a lot of small things you have to work with. Right. Um, the video did show everything quite well, but there wasn't a whole lot of really close-up things to show you exactly how you want it to look. Yeah, he did a good job of teaching it. Yeah. But the camera views could have possibly been a little better. Could have been a little better. Okay, right. Could have been a little better. Now, you've worked with this trick for two days. I've worked with it for two days. Would you feel comfortable going to perform this trick? No. Do you ever think you would feel, get to a level where you would feel comfortable with the consistency of this trick? Probably not. Just because like, there were a lot of small things that ended up becoming problems with it. Um, like, I don't want to give away anything with it. Right, but I mean, like, right. there's small things I just, I kept hanging up on and just... It, so it, it lacked it, consistency. Yeah. We both wanted to love yeah, this track. I mean, we, we wanted to love it. Yeah. It, it actually has a beautiful look to it. We yeah. wanted to love it. Okay, well, awesome, Daniel. Let's see who our winners are for the locking deck. Now, the winner for the locking deck is John Wu. You have won the locking deck. So please uh, give us a comment. Let us know where to send it. All those things. You're the winner of the locking deck. And the Mystic Frog goes to GD Electroscope. So, you, sir, have won the Mystic Frog. Give us all the information and your comments and let us know where to send these to. We're going to ship these out to you for free. And I want to thank everyone for liking, subscribing, making comments. We're trying to build this channel. Give us some help. Spread the word. We certainly appreciate it. Tim Spinoza with The Real Deal Magic Reviews. Thank you guys very much and peace.